Hello and welcome to this quick pitch video um, on how to host all of your IoT project on just a single R1520 LG, which is Robustel's new and unique LoRaWAN gateway. Um, and this is not just a, a view of the LoRa gateway, but it's how Robustel's new Debian-based um, dual OS can create um, really good opportunities for everyone operating in industrial automation, IoT, um, and that kind of um, project space, getting data from the edge to the cloud. So without further ado, let's look at the demo environment. So we have an R1520 LG, um, to say new LoRa gateway from Robusto. You can get more details online at robustel.com. Uh, it's hosted publicly, and what we're demonstrating here is that there's there's multiple layers of software that you can install very easily. Um, I mean, most Linux boxes have some kind of capability, but it's the ease of use of root access to Debian that is enabling developers to move really fast. So Robustel's very colorful new OS is on port 80, uh, which we'll have a look at. We then have Chirp Stack, which is, many of you will know, is kind of the de facto um, network server for LoRa. We then have a, a Python application taking the output from Chirp Stack, giving a little bit of visualization and doing some protocol translation. And we'll show the SSH, um, but you get root access into the Debian environment and just show how familiar and how simple it is to develop on this product range. So let's jump straight in. So this is Robustel's new RobustOS Pro um, operating system interface. It's a really clever thing that's been done here. This is actually a Debian application. So under the bonnet, this is all uh, Debian Linux. Um, but we've taken the legacy OS, made it into a Debian application, and give you many of the familiar features that customers have got used to, and obviously enhancements, um, a much more colorful user interface. So if you just want to use the R1520 LG as a packet forwarder, no problem at all. Um, standard LoRa settings, as you would expect, and away you go. In this example, we're showing how you can do absolutely everything um, on the box, and potentially that saves the cost of a separate embedded PC or even a Raspberry Pi. We know that people use for this um, for these fairly sort of small self-contained um, deployments. And in fact, you can port the code directly from your Raspberry Pi um, into this environment. So that's the operating system, and there's many um, features in there as you would expect. But if we start to dive into the other software on board, so we now can show the Chirp Stack environment. Again, all hosted on the same R1520LG being run by the same ARM CPU. Um, and so we can look at things like um, the one of the most important things that we need to do in Chirp Stack is decode the sensor data. So we actually have that um, data to hand locally. Um, to use. So we get that output from ChirpStack. And the, um, the devices themselves are all online and you get all of the wonderful um, features of ChirpStack as you would expect. So we then go on to look at the next um, layer of software, which if I can get there, just happens to be hosted at 8081. And this is a custom Python application um, written by our good friend Eldar at Robustel. And this is effectively an expression of the sensors that are configured to, to speak with the ChirpStack LNS. And the, the purpose of this application originally was that we want uh, the benefits of wireless distribution of sensor data um, by LoRa. But we actually want at the front end all of those 
um, to be represented as Modbus TCP um, addresses, basically. The, the device becomes one big slave to represent all the data. So in itself, not a, a very complicated, overly complicated example, but certainly a very common example of the sort of thing people are doing out there. And the, the key issue here is that an R1520 LG is, even with a global 4G module and a LoRa chip inside, is relatively very, very low cost. So the fact you can remove even a Raspberry Pi or an embedded PC as well um, with this single box is extremely um, compelling from a business case perspective. And the final thing we'll just come on to here is um, the web SSH client. So again, same IP address. This time on port 22, because we're um, doing SSH. And we have a user of Sudoku and a password. Um, this is just a great little online SSH tool that we found that's great for demo, uh, demoing. And here we are, we have unfettered root access to this product. And there's actually some really smart stuff that's been done to disambiguate uh, how Robusto's operating system, Robusto S Pro uses the underlying kernel and how Debian is using it. So. There's a lot of thought gone into uh, the disambiguation, basically, of the resources. So it's really, really smart under the bonnet. But um, if we just take you to the root, um, so we're at the root folder. Um, so if we navigate our way, and this is just all, you know, very familiar Linux stuff to any developer. And that's kind of the point. This isn't a bespoke development environment or a slightly quirky one. This is just full fat Debian Linux, which the value is the familiarity. So you can get started developing immediately. Um, so we've gone to home and then Sudoku is folder and then we have the actual folder for the application. And they are the Python uh, files all in that folder that is giving us a nice dedicated application on port 8081 to manage some uh, protocol translation. But as I'm sure any even vaguely conversant software people will know once you've got this sort of root access, you can apt get anything from the cloud. You can install Node Red. That is another great um, tool in this environment. Um, basically, the 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 world's the world's your oyster with this setup. And the most important thing to reiterate is you've already got lots of software you can use, including the cloud platform from Robustel. It's amazing of features. You can reach all of this over Robustel's um, robust VPN environment, so you don't need public IPs as we're using in this demo. Um, and if you're really sad, a bit like we are, you can even make an ASCII steam, steam train go across the screen of your R1520 LG. So to summarize in this quick pitch, um, this is about not only the R1520 LG, uh, as a LoRa gateway, but every Robust OS Pro based product. So that includes the EV8100 and all of the EG5000 series of products. Um, this is the kind of environment that is immediately available to developers and commercially, um, this can make life much more simple, one box solution and potentially saving the cost of uh, additional embedded computers or single board computers. So that's all today. Thanks very much. Uh, visit robustel.com for more information.